Merry Christmas! <laughs>
And this whole bottle is four and a half units. I assume that's what that bottle with four and a half yes. units in means. So, um, yeah. I will make an absolute pig's ear of that if... Oh. Very discreet. I better do it with the bottle opener because if I do it with my teeth, somebody will tell me off. So, that I, I, smells like some sort of Bailey's. scalp preparation. I've had. It smells like Bailey's to me. <laughs> <Does but. it? laughs> okay, shall we? That's better. fine. We'll, we'll <laughs> How much do we have? Oh. oh, I don't know, some. <clears throat> we'll take it up to the line. Yeah. I mean, it just, it very much smells like naughty oat milk. I, I, I'm, it's got the same sort of colour <laughs> as oat milk would have. I'm not going to lie, I am getting some sort of like scalp pre preparation or... It's, uh, it smells like that. pain. Smells like it's going to be yummy. Right. Atomic fireballs. Pardon? This tastes like the sweet. Do you remember those sweets back in the day? Atomic fireballs and they're really hot sweets, which were like really cinnamony. Which I'm surprised that you haven't picked up because I know that you've had, you you were put off. Cinnamon aftershock was it that did that? I mean, the vanilla is very lost. You get it. You get that little ting at the end. You can definitely taste. Did you say it was rum? Mm. Um, ready to serve. Hot or cold. First. So friends together, winter spices, yeah, okay. Buttery rum, yeah, definitely taste that. Mm -hmm. And a rich velvety finish. No. It's not massively velvety, however... There is no rich velvety finish to this. I do prefer this to the eggnog we had last year. Oh, 100%. I mean, not enough to buy another bottle to have for Christmas. That's quite I expensive. Mean, with the postal strike, it might not get here anyway. But it no. would be a, it'd be a lovely New Year's surprise. It'd be Christmas is going to be prolonged because of the postal strike. So you know, up the workers. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. That's quite nice. I don't feel like we've wasted our money today. What you mean versus the waitress mince pies? Mm. Which, by the way, we've still got some of, so come on round. Yeah. Um, we had them, we, we tried another one, didn't we? Um, sort of like on a day where we hadn't had much else to eat. and um, When we were desperate. Discovered that even still desperation like. doesn't make them taste any better. No. But, hmm. Dairy-free nutmeg. Dairy-free... Eggnog. Got there in the end. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, could, I, I could totally that. go for that. I prefer that. Um, get yourself some. It's on the Black Lines website. It's probably .co.uk. Oh, no, it's blacklines. Blacklinesdrinks.com. So, um... We'll stick a link in the comments. Yeah. And a description. Yeah. Summing up in a word? <clears throat> Alternative. Yes. Yes. I, do you know what? I really like that, actually. It's not as heavy. I think because there's no dairy yeah. in it, because dairy's really heavy, isn't it? And considering the, the drinks we have had, like that that milkshake, um, excuse me. The mince pie milkshake. The mince pie milkshake. Yeah, getting on that. Um, yeah, this is, this is quite light. <laughs> excuse me. It's light enough to have after dinner. Yeah. You know, when you feel... Wonder what that's like on the mince pies. Is it bit too thin, loose? Bit thin for that. Too loose. Maybe I mean it defeats the object, but sort of whisked into some sort of crimp. Elm Lee is um, 
dairy free, isn't it? So you could whisk yeah. it into some dairy free cream and see how that goes. But mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just waffling now. I'm going to have another little morsel of this and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.